There are tens of thousands of children right here in New York City that are being denied a basic education. There are, in fact, laws requiring non-public schools, including yeshivas, to provide a basic education, one that is at least substantially equivalent to that provided in public schools. We founded Yafed with the aim of pressuring New York City and New York State education officials to enforce the existing laws. We organized a formal complaint that was signed by 52 yeshiva graduates and parents, and we named 39 different yeshivas across the city. Most of those yeshivas are only teaching 90 minutes of secular education in elementary and middle school, and no secular education at all in high school. This letter was submitted on July 27, 2015. The day later, the Department of Education told the media that they're launching an investigation. The way you're framing it, I'm not sure I follow, because obviously it's a separate school system, so, but let, I think the simple answer is let me see the letter and we'll get back to you. I have personally visited several of the yeshivas and I do believe there will be some decisions coming shortly. Uh, we are not finished in that process by any stretch. We'll have a lot more to say that about that later in the year. Like within a month or so, I can give you a written report. A month or so? Yeah. This is a serious civil rights issue and yet nothing is being done. I will keep you posted and when I have some kind of specific information, I'm happy to pass it on. Um, we've waited now almost two years. The reality is that we have visited some schools, but we haven't visited enough schools. We have visited six schools in the last two years, correct? And is that, I mean, it doesn't seem like that's really aggressive. It, it, it's like not even like one a month. It takes time to go in and, and get the story. It said you've been working on this for three years. Yes, sir. And that you've been stonewalling it. We're not only, stonewalling. Only six okay. out of the 39 okay. Not a debate schools club. I answered your right. concern. We've since learned that as we approach the three-year mark of the investigation, the city has still only visited 15 of 39 yeshivas. 24 yeshivas have not so much as received a visit. They believe they can go on with impunity. Thousands of Hasidic children are still being subjected to the same poor education. How is it that right here in New York City, we have to fight for tens of thousands of children to not be denied a basic education and robbed of a future. I was born and raised in the ultra-Orthodox community of South Marine Williamsburg, Brooklyn. While I received a fabulous Jewish education, I wish my school had also provided me a proper general education. That would have given me access to professional options that were close to me. My son deserves an education. The vast majority of my child Hasidic friends still have never even heard of words such as algebra, atom, biology, or civil rights, and can barely communicate in English. Please complete the investigation and release the results and make sure that every child gets the education that they deserve. I'm worried about the kids who do not learn enough English and math to be members of our society. Three years is too long for our children and our families to wait. If there's one job that politicians have, it's to ensure that no other children have to endure what I did in Yeshiva. I'm outraged that it has taken the New York City Department of Education more than three years to investigate yeshivas that fail to provide a secular education to their students and prepare them for life in the real world. Three years is simply too much. Three years is far too long, especially when kids are being deprived of a basic education. Mayor de Blasio. Mayor de Blasio. Mr. Mayor. Three years is enough. Three, three years, years is too long. long. Three, three years, years is, is too enough. Long. Three years is too long. Three years is too long.